Alright guys, it's Smudger here and we need to talk about the copy add-on because it's back in Season 3. I know a load of you have been commenting it on my last videos for Season 2. I hadn't personally come across the issue till last night so I was reluctant to give any advice out. Make sure you watch this entire video because if you comment something I've covered in the video I just will not be responding to it. I spent a lot of time doing that in the last two videos and honestly it just wasn't worth it in the end. So the first one is... Check the pinned comment for any extra information I'll put in after the video because if I find other things I won't make a new video, I'll just put them in there so that'll be like a resource for you guys. The second thing is, if you can get into the game with your copy add-on, this will work for you. If you can't, then it won't. Simple as that. There really is there really is nothing to it. Most footage that you're seeing here is pre-recorded. I'm not speaking over it live. So essentially the first thing I did when I found out the copy add-on was still there is I went to my campaign packs in my data file management by pressing R3 or by scrolling across and seeing that you know there was a missing data pack or installation was suspended and clicking on that. And so it's super super simple. Um, in this footage I've actually already installed the campaign packs 1 and 2. Uh, that's what you need to do to fix the season 2 one. However in this one you also need to seem to install the special ops pack alongside it. So this is an extra step over the season 2 one. Um, so do make sure you've installed that. They're like 1 meg, it took me like a second to install and then that seemed to stop the copy add-on error. Here are some community suggestions if that doesn't work. I am actually on disk, this does work for digital as well, this method, but if you are on disk, take your disk out, clean it exceptionally well with a soft cloth, really make sure there are no finger marks on there, put it back in and quite often that will fix it sometimes. Alternatively, some people have reinstalled the game and that seems to have fixed it. I know that if you are just a Warzone player, this can be super annoying because not everyone has access to Modern Warfare because you might not have bought it. Currently, these are the only fixes we have for you. And the final one's a bit, bit annoying. A lot of people just left theirs, not on rest mode, just their PlayStation on, restarting the add-on loop until it finally got through to the game. Then they tried out this method and they essentially just added it in there. So they just kind of left it for like two hours uh, super super annoying not the most practical but if you can do that i certainly would recommend it as always guys do leave any comments any suggestions anything that's worked for you in the comments down below so we can share this burden let me know if this has fixed it for you if you're still looking for a fix keep an eye on the pinned comment that's where i'll be updating any information i find later on as always if you did enjoy the video give it a like subscribe if you want to find your way back hope you all have a good day and i'll see you next time bye